In a land not so far away stands a lonely hill. On top of that hill once grew an oak tree. Six hundred and twenty-six summers the oak had stood watching over the surrounding woodland and the animals that chose to inhabit it. One promising summer's day, the beautiful blue sky faded to a dull grey. Heavy clouds exhausted the sun as it sank red into the horizon. The seasons that followed changed, bringing ferocious storms, floods, and then an unforgiving drought. With these changes came death. Death to plants, flowers, and trees, until the oak on the hill was the last living tree in the land. It was just before nightfall, on what was the eve of the longest day, when the oak tree summoned all of the animals. There was an air of expectancy and excitement from his audience, as they impatiently waited at the foot of the hill for the oak tree to announce his solution to the tragedy that had befallen them all. A hush fell. The oak tree spoke. My precious friends, the earth that once nourished my deep roots no longer nourishes, and the sun that once sustained my leaves no longer gives sustenance. Alas, I am dying. There was a gasp from his audience as the words resonated through the still evening air. The animals looked at one another with dismay. Dying. Where shall we build our nests? asked the birds. Where shall we find our food? asked the squirrels. Where shall we shelter and hide our young? asked the deer. My dying branches bear five sacred acorns. They are born from the ancient spirit of the wood, have been blessed by the sun, and contain the hopeful dreams of the moon. They must each be taken to one of the five extremities of our planet, and safely hidden under fire, earth, water or stone. When time is delivered, and Mother Earth has forgiven. These acorns will once again seek out the sunlight and be found. Once reunited, the five will become one and in turn will be known as the Quercus Circus. Only then will the sun rise back into a blue sky. Only then will our woodlands return to our valleys and hills only then will your children be assured a safe and fruitful future. Rufus the Fox, I have chosen you for your cunning speed and guile. Take a sacred acorn from my branch. You will be the first guardian of the Quercus Circus, and through you the land will be delivered from a terrible fate. Travel swiftly, my friend, and without delay. But great wise oak, sole sentinel of the land, where should I hide the sacred acorn? I have no knowledge of such things. Look with your eyes, listen with your ears, trust your feet, and most importantly, follow your heart. And you will know, you will know, my dear Rufus. Rufus gently plucked an acorn from a branch and respectfully bowed before the oak. Eager to fulfill his important quest, he promptly slipped away into the fading evening light to begin his journey.